All right, today is uh, Thursday, February the 26th. I was reading and uh, talking about Paul today, uh, or Saul, and how he transformed over uh, to the kingdom. Uh, there's a song by Canton Jones called Haters Day. Uh, I was listening to that yesterday or a little bit this week. It's a neat song. You can find him on YouTube. Um, it talks about the people that are coming up against you and that are just out to get you, it seems like, just showing them some love, showing them the kingdom. Um, and then I was reading Paul this morning, and, and, and the correlation between the two is kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. I thought, you know, here was this guy out per persecuting the church, um, killing folks, putting them in jail. And, you know, back then, you get put in jail, it wasn't like you go get a bail bondsman and get out. You were stuck. What were your kids going to do? What was your wife going to do? Um, you know, the sacrifices made back then for worshiping God and believing in Jesus were a lot more drastic than what we have today. But anyways, Paul was going around, and Paul would be considered a hater, a hater of Christ. Um, and those that followed him, or Saul would have been, Paul was not. But Saul went around and arrested these people, had them locked up, and God struck him. Uh, you know, or He was struck blind, and during that, those days where he couldn't see, his eyes were open, and he saw the truth. And a lot of times, people, you know, as big an enemy as Saul was to Christ and to the church, by turning him and he, opening his eyes, he became one of the greatest. He was one of the most passionate people about Jesus once his eyes were open, um, and physically and spiritually. Um, he you know, realized that you know, the error of his ways, he repented, and God used him in a mighty way. The point I'm making with that, and this one's going to be a short one today, is just simply this. Those people that are the ones hitting us the hardest are the ones that need the most love. The ones that are out there out to get us the most are the ones that will be our greatest ally when God turns them. And the way you turn them is you show them love and compassion. Go into Paul and read about what happened to him um, when he was struck. He, he was taken care of by Christians, the very people that he was out persecuting, putting in jail. They showed him all the love they could, and it did. You know, and it, it opened up. It opened him up. And there he became one of the greatest, most passionate. He's one of the writers in the Bible, for goodness sake, uh, promoting Jesus Christ. He went from discrediting him, trying to destroy the infant church, to building it up and becoming one of the, the stables in the Bible. Um, you know, one of the biggest you know, contributors in the Bible was Paul. Um, it just goes to show that even though people are coming against you and what you're doing, it doesn't matter. Love them. I suggest you go listen to that song by Canton Jones. Read, you know, read Romans. Um, read the story about Saul and how he was transformed and, and before he became Paul, and then up until when he did become Paul, and then what he did after he became Paul. Those people out there today that are hating on you, that are out to get you, trying to damage you. God said He'll turn all things for the glory of those who love Him. He will. Um, you know. He, it doesn't seem like it in the midst of it, but when it all gets said and done, it gets turned around and those people get pulled into you. Um, personally, I had some situations going on and instead of fighting with these people and arguing with them and, and keeping tabs on what they've done and you know, do I need to get them back, do I need to remember this, and to, I just started showing them love and God has started breaking free. They're, they're breaking through, he's breaking through to them and now they're turning and now the, there's a relationship that's occurring this occurring and that relationship is is one that is a god-given relationship but those people i didn't turn them i didn't change them god did it in his time he used me instead of coming at them like what the enemy would have us do and get them back retaliate i'm you know, you're not going to get by with that i can't believe you tried that you're not going to do that to me love them you know christ summed up you know the law, the Bible, everything. If you ever want to know how simple it is to get in the kingdom of heaven, it's real simple. People complicate it. They make it so hard. They make it so much more difficult than it has to be. There's only two things you got to do. Just two. If I told you right now, look, you can have eternal life. You can save yourself from hellfire. You can you know, live happy. You can have a great life right now and be content with it. There's just two things you got to do. And people go, well, what? What do you mean two things? There's ten commandments. There's this. There's that. There's this. No. You love the Lord your God with all your heart. And you love your neighbor more than you love yourself. You do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. And, you, you know, not necessarily loving them more than you do you, but you treat them as good as you would treat yourself if you were going to do something for you or to you or, you know, about you. And you would do that to that person the same way you would have it done to yourself. You love them at least, at least as much. And you do 
those two things, you're in like Flint. Um, today's it's kind of muggy. There's some traffic, traffic all the way around. We are moving. In case you guys wondering, it is not wise to do this while you're riding down the road. Uh, there will come a time when I've got my schedule intact. I'll be doing it from a sit-down location, but for now, it's the morning drive with Joey. Um, this is the morning Joe, uh, 26th of February 09, and I hope this helps. Just remember, when they're hating on you, just love them. Canton Jones on YouTube. The song's called Haters Day. Uh, he's got a lot of good ones on there. He's been on TVN. Uh, I just, I, he's a phenomenal artist. He's reaching the young people. And maybe you like that music, maybe you don't. If you don't, just listen to the words of it. But definitely go back, regardless of whether you listen to that song or not. Go back and read you know, read about read about Saul and Paul. Find out what happened to him. Find out how God used him. And, and just keep in mind that the people that were taking care of him, they were loving him. That's what made the difference in Paul. That's what brought him out of it. You know, God could have loved him. God loved him the whole time. He was killing and persecuting people. But it took somebody here showing him that love to open his eyes to what was really going on and the movement of the Holy Spirit coming on him and saying, here, you know, this is what's really going. Um, people's got, you know, God's got people in place. He's got you in a place for a reason. You know, and if you want to figure out what that is, you can start out real quick just by showing love to those people that aren't believers or that have fallen away or backslidden. Or whatever and love love God if you do those two things love others as you love yourself and love God with all your heart mind body and soul you're gonna be in heaven you're gonna get to see the kingdom um, or you're gonna you're gonna get to see the kingdom um, I'll leave it at that there's some theological differences about heaven I've got but regardless eternal life does exist and God's gonna give it um, to all who you know all who uh, all who want it uh, that are living right going you know after him Anyways, I hope that uh, you guys have a great week and